Hello guys, and today you'll be learning about the computer. Let's dive right in with the classifications of computer. First, let's talk about supercomputer. Supercomputer is the most powerful computer of them all. This is used by large enterprises to process large sums of data, usually complex data. Next, you have the mainframe computer. This is a little bit smaller than a supercomputer, however, it can process large sums of data. Also, we have the mini computer. Mini computers are general purpose computers and are smaller than mainframe computers and usually easier to use. And finally, we have the microcomputer, which is least expensive of all computers and are generally known as personal computers. Now we will learn about input and output devices. Input device is an hardware used to provide data and control signals over the computer, while an output device is any device used to send data from the computer to another device or the user. Output devices are monitors or printers, while input devices can be a keyboard or a mouse. There are some devices that perform both input and output, such as a fax machine. However, without proper storage devices, the computer cannot hold data and instruction to execute all of these functions. Storage devices are divided into two main categories. You have primary storage, which consists of three main parts, random access memory, read-only memory, and EEPROM. The second category is secondary storage, which consists of hard disk, memory cards, CDs, DVDs, USB flash drives. Now, let's take a look at the parts of a computer and how it really works. How can you be the smartest of all? Without me, you cannot input any information into the computer. Ha ha ha! Without me, who will show what you have typed? I am the display device, the monitor. Excuse me, I know I'm small, but I'm the fastest of all. Without me, you cannot navigate quickly. <coughs> Wait a second. Without me, you all are useless. I am the brain. I do the most important task of storing and processing information. Calm down, all of you. You are all forgetting something. You all are equally important. How? Let me tell you how a computer works. When the user enters the information through the input devices, mouse and keyboard, it goes into the brainy CPU where the whole processing takes place. And then the result can be seen on the output device, which is you, monitor. So how can any one of you work without each other's help? Yes, together we form a computer.